Hello, I'm Shelly Rothis, and I'm a different kind of victim. Today's topic is going to be based upon my social anxiety and my fear of intimate relationships, close relationships, and any type of relationship. And this is going to be based upon the past two videos, actually three, which was based upon coming to my realization and what had happened to me as to how I came to that realization based upon my personal experiences. So today is not going to be really a lesson. It's going to be based upon my own personal experience as to how I have social anxiety and now a fear of intimacy within any type of relationship based upon my personal experience, how and why that happened. So just like a trauma can make a person respond in certain ways is exactly what happened to me. So a trauma or any kind of situation can make somebody respond in ways. They can become depressed. They can end up having certain mental illnesses and that's how they say that it happens is based upon somebody's experience and how they responded how it affected them so when did i start to have social anxiety that would actually be during the time of the last bullying incident and that would be with relation to unshorn wizard and when did that start? That started when the last bullying incident, when John Paul Santa Viking had showed me that Unsure and Wizard was in a hate group. And right when I saw that he had stated that he wanted to get rid of me without hurting my feelings. I still remember that night as though it was just yesterday and seeing Unsure and Wizard state that I just went into a total trance and everything just blew up because that was during the time that I was coming to my realization about my three assaholics most people would say that it was because of that that resulted in me having social anxiety and that'd be very untrue so let's talk about my three assaholics with my three assaholics is how they raised me. It was kind of interesting. I was talking to my godmother last night and she told me, she said, it's not your fault, Shelly. You were raised in that environment. So you didn't know what happiness is. You didn't realize that you were with three people that were toxic to you and that you were raised to think that that was normal, that your misery was normal and that I didn't know the difference between happiness and misery. Actually, what most people would see as unhappiness and misery was what I seen as happiness. So I didn't know what it felt like to have a relationship that involved trust and happiness. So what was the first time that I actually felt what I thought is trust? That would have been between me and Unshorn Wizard, based upon our conversations and feeling comfortable talking to Unshorn Wizard and opening up and feeling that I could trust that he would keep my personal information safe and respected me and wouldn't judge me based upon what's happened to me and my feelings about it and who I am as based upon those personal experiences that I had shared with him, as I've stated, is that he's the first person I trusted to actually open up to and I shared the most with out of everybody in my life. So we're going to go to where me and him had discussed trust in relationships with people. And I had actually written to him in one of the letters when I was opening up and talking about my personal experience and the abuse I went through with Unshorn Wizard. I have mentioned in there that, you know, I have my own gates up 
in reference to what he had shared with me is that his gates were actual where he has fears of relationships and trust issues for most of his life now. A good part of it, I should say, based upon what he had told me. He's afraid to open up to people of fear of them harming him and deceiving and betraying him. For me, my gates were different. My boundaries was I didn't trust myself. I didn't trust myself to be in a relationship. Why is that? I knew myself. I knew that I was easy, that I let people in and I formed closeness within with a person easily. So I didn't trust myself because I knew that in the end is that I always blamed myself. I blamed myself for letting people in. So where did that come from? That came from my three assaholics because after an abuse situation, who had to take the blame for it? Who had to apologize for them being treated me in abusive ways, in cruel ways, and unacceptable. I took the blame for it. That's where conditioned normalized victimization syndrome came, comes into play too. Because if I didn't take the blame and apologize for them being abusive towards me, they would step it up to the next punishment. My fear of the consequences, the punishment. So I got used to taking the blame and apologizing and feeling like, I was the bad person. I'm worthless. I don't, I didn't, you know, I didn't feel I deserved anything better than that. I didn't know I deserved any better than that. That's where coming to my realization comes into play with this too, with Unshorn Wizard and the advice that he had given to me is that I do deserve better. I had stated that I'm too nice. He said, only I can change that. So, me being too nice, that goes along with my cage, is I was too nice and I knew that. I knew that I allowed people in. I knew that I ended up getting hurt all the time and that I just took the blame. So I was protecting myself from myself of <laughs> doing that. That was my cage. So with Unsure and Wizard, it had to deal with trust and feeling that I could trust him and he was a loyal, non-judgmental and empathetic person that would be understanding and wouldn't betray me and deceive me in ways that I honestly didn't think he would but he ended up doing just that and even more so that's what caused my social anxiety when did I notice it it was right after that incident that I just stated as to where he was in a hate group and was pre pretending to be my friend, which is the hard part. Those are the feelings in between is that actually the first person I trusted was pretending to be my friend while being in a hate group. That's very hard to say, pretending. So that's where I had noticed my social anxiety. When I had gone to this outlet mall and walking around there, I noticed it. Everything seemed to be a big blur to me. And anytime I walked past anybody or just seen people, I felt extremely fearful. I just could feel my heart beating like, you know, oh God, it's people, you know, they're, they're, they're after me. They're gonna, they're gonna hurt me. They're, they're bad people, you know, and you know, I'm just, no, you know, it, it was, it was, it was horrible. I felt disassociated and everything was blurry to me. That's how I seen it. And <clears throat> one thing that most people don't understand is you know, when somebody says, hello, how are you? Even a stranger, the normal response people see is, you know, you respond back to it. And if you don't, you're being rude. And there's people that don't understand why certain people don't say hello back or you know, I'm doing good, how are you? That would be me. And that's exactly what happened to me, is just somebody saying hello to me. I was like, <laughs> it really creeped me out. So that was after the last bullying incident. 
in the recent one that happened afterwards, that's where I ended up having the deepest depression I ever experienced that I can remember in many years was when I seen what Unshorn Wizard had said in that hate group about me, which was the most despicable and cruel things. And that's when he really went past what I never expected. He had used what I shared with him personally against me. He also had stepped it up as to where he had said the most cruel and despicable things anybody has ever said to me. So that just totally exploded. At that point, I was still just with social anxiety and still had, you know, some hopes, you know, maybe close relationship eventually, but I was extremely fearful of even that at that time. And that's where Grumpster comes into play. Many people talk about the unknown connection between people that you just, you don't see it. It's just like a chemical reaction. With Grumpster, it was, I felt like this is a possible chance. Not even an intimate partnership, but just, I felt a connection like we both felt the same way and believed the same ways based upon relationships and being a good person and being a safe person. That's how I seen him. So, as I stated in past videos, is that that was the one relationship I worked the hardest on due to my social anxiety and what happened with Unsure and Wizard. I did have trust issues. It was hard for me to trust. And I worked very hard on it, especially for Rumpster, because I honestly felt that he was a good person and I really worked hard to open up and let that person in. And that's exactly what I did. But during the time when I finally started to feel safe with that person was when they ended up turning on me and engaging in abusive behaviors. Even though they didn't say it, they still engaged in it. And that was when Asuka had threatened me and belittled me in front of that person. The one thing I had entrusted Grumpster on was that he had told me several times is that he would never hurt me and he would never allow anybody else to hurt me. So after saying that many times and then being around that person for a while and it seemed as though they were standing by the word, but then Asuka came into play and they had showed that they weren't. It was during that time that I had felt the closeness. Now what's the difference between Unshorn Wizard and Grumpster as for the relationship? I had even stated to Unshorn Wizard is that I had actually trusted him more than I trusted Grumpster in the relationship, which is very true. With Grumpster it was different. I never experienced a relationship where I actually was happy and feeling that closeness. In a relationship, when you feel closeness, you feel a sense of happiness and positivity, just being with that person. And that's exactly what I felt with Grumpster. I felt a closeness and a happiness that I never knew about. So happiness was exactly, is, act, is actually what I felt with Grumpster and that closeness that I thought would last forever. That was another difference is with Unsure and Wizard, I didn't expect our relationship to last forever. With Grumpster, just from meeting him and that connection that I felt that was just natural it seemed, was that this was gonna be a relationship, not just, you know, based on intimacy, I didn't even see it, it that way, but as a friendship that would last forever. Because I actually felt that connection and I actually felt comfortable around that person as to where I felt that they were a good person with good ethics that would stand by their word and how they treated me. So they ended up doing the certain things that actually harmed me the most, which they watched me get abused when that person, Asuka, had threatened me and belittled me and didn't do nothing to protect me. They had also ghosted and stood me up, which was exactly what Unshorn Wizard had done to me. And as I stated in previous videos of what most people would think was what harmed me the most was actually what I just stated, which was 
Grumpster watching me get abused and not defending me and then also ghosting me and standing me up was what actually harmed me. So the fear of intimacy and closeness in any type of relationship, intimacy can be based upon friendship and your feelings within that relationship. I allowed myself to feel that happiness for the first time in my life with Grumpster as to where I felt happy in that relationship as though it was something that would positively affect me and started feeling those feelings that I never felt before because I never felt that before with any relationship. How could I? I was with three assaholics that they didn't want me to be happy. They didn't let me have a taste of happiness and what it felt like to have that intimacy as to where I felt safe, comfortable, and that I could be myself and I could be happy and enjoy being with that person, doing anything. With Unsure and Wizard, it was the trust and being words wise as to understanding me, having that connection of understanding how I felt. I didn't have that with Grumpster. He really didn't understand me as to why I have these issues of anxiety and fears of people. As for Unsure and Wizard, I felt that connection that he understood how I felt and why I felt that way and the way why I was the way I am. With Grumpster, it was based upon having that intimate closeness as to feeling happy and fulfilled within a relationship as to where I'd want it to last forever. So the reason I now have a fear of having a intimate, close relationship in any type is because Grumpster was the first person that I actually worked hard on the relationship to open up to and actually let myself be myself and actually enjoy feelings of happiness within a relationship as to as to where I felt positively fulfilled and it was during the time that the right when right before the abuse started is when I started feeling those feelings of fulfillment and happiness and then it boom just like with Unsure and Wizard is when I felt that trust and had begun to feel that trust and seeing that relationship as being good and where I could trust that person and he was the first person I trusted was when boom I seen that he was in a hate group and was actually the opposite and what did I do I stuffed and ignored those feelings even I'd say up to the recent bullying incident I had stuffed all those feelings and it had gotten worse and worse the abuse basically the same with Grumpster is when I started feeling those feelings of happiness and fulfillment as though I felt that the relationship would last forever is boom right right shortly after that is when he started to engage in the abuse against me and broke his promise to me as to never hurting me or allowing somebody else to hurt me so that's when my fear of intimate partnership as to closeness within any type of relationship even friendship came into play is because the first person I allowed those feelings to happen and actually thought they would last ended up betraying deceiving me in ways I never expected just like with Unsure and Wizard I never expected him to deceive and betray me as in trust so it's very true that the trust was with Unsure and Wizard and the feelings of happiness and closeness was with Grumpster that was also ruined. Like my godmother stated is that it's not my fault that I didn't know what happiness really is. And actually with Grumpster, that relationship is the first relationship that I actually felt happiness and content and positivity in. So that was taken away too as to where I'm afraid to have that feeling again because it felt good and I don't want to have that happen again and that's my biggest fear is that I will open up I don't want to feel happiness 
and then having it just taken away in the way that it happened. And it was a very cruel and heartless and cold way to do it to me was based upon how Grumpster did it. And my biggest fear is having that happen again and being deceived and betrayed. You don't want all that happiness. Who wants to have all that happiness and fulfillment and feeling content and safe with the person, especially if it's your first time having those feelings to be just ripped out of you and destroyed. Just like the trust with Unsure and Wizard is that he did the two things that I never expected he would do that made me have trust issues. And that's where social anxiety came into play where, where there was two or more, there was, I'm sorry, more than two people is where I started feeling anxious. With Grumpster, now it's not just social anxiety, it's my fear of feeling close and feeling happiness and content and safety within a relationship and having feelings that that relationship will last because of what happened with him and him engaging in and encouraging the abuse that happened to me. So that was my little overview, not a teaching, but just to, to get a better understanding based upon the topics that I have been teaching about and that this one is based on my social anxiety and my fear of intimacy and closeness within a relationship that had come after my realization of my three assaholics and the abuse that I've endured for most of my life when I was in that toxic relationship with my three assaholics. And that's to also show how even a trauma or experience with someone who you're not in an intimate relationship with and it's not family and it's just a friend can actually cause somebody to have a negative response in mental wise as to how they respond to it and how it affects them. With Unsure and Wizard, it was social anxiety that I had responded with, ended up having. With Grumpster, it was ended up being fear of closeness and intimacy in any type of relationship that I have now. That was my response that I have now to that. So it started out with social anxiety to fear of closeness within relationships of any type. So that would be the end of this as for giving a more personally detailed trying to give a better understanding as to social anxiety and fear of intimacy and closeness in a relationship because most people do not understand it. Like I admitted, I myself didn't understand it. You're talking to somebody that used to be open to relationships and an extrovert as to where, hey, I could dance around in front of a bunch of people, no problem, and talk to anybody and just boom 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 that's how I was I was I was very much an extrovert now I'm an introvert I honestly many times enjoy just being by myself to feel safe and doing things by myself it's not that I don't enjoy having company I actually do enjoy having company but and I don't like being alone nobody likes being alone but my fears makes me want to stay that way is that I'm too fearful of what based upon what happened with Unsure and Wizard and Grumpster of those happening again. So it's because of that that those experiences that caused me to have social and now fear of intimacy and closeness in a relationship. I'm now that introvert that I never thought I would ever be based upon my personality because I have a very, let's say, um, different, unique sense of humor and how I act. And many people will say, you know, they jokingly will say, man, you are crazy. You're a nut. And, but hey, I see myself as being fun that way. I see myself as being different in a good way. Unlike my three assaholics who used to actually put me down for my unique, weird personality. 
actually see that as a bonus and any relationship I'm in because I see myself as a fun and unique person. But I have fear of intimate relationships, close rela relationships now, and also social anxiety as to where I feel extremely anxious when there's more than two other people besides myself. So that's the ending for this part, which was just a personal overview based upon my experiences and how I came to having social anxiety and fear of intimacy in close relationships. So that'll be it for this one. I'm Shelly Rothis, and I'm a different kind of victim. See you next time.